guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of Healing by Pretty Care. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That's different. <coughs> I hate when there's something in my throat. Really? Since yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is something I kind of want to talk about, but I think I'm going to wait until the end of the episode because it, it's really, because it's something between last week and this week, and it's really that, um, that intro that they have for it now, but, oh, they're showing stuff from the movie! Yeah, because the movie should be out by now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. With the little tiny. <laughs> I'm sorry, penguin. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. But yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll watch the episode and then we'll talk about how I feel about her little intro and such. Because I didn't say anything about it last week. I was like, mm, I'm going to kind of wait maybe a week or two to talk about it and then talk about it. But, yeah. I miss my Cosmo. Well, you know, what's really good is she's in other games that I play. She's in Bonsity, which I might have to get that Steve that's a statue. I don't just to have her, but she, her group isn't my favorite group anymore. It's complicated. When you like a voice actress, but you just don't like her group that she's in. <laughs> well, no, I, I do like her. It's just complicated. How are you completely different from these two? Yeah, please elaborate. There is always one who is a beefcake and who only literally thinks I can use my head for smashing. Ah. It's interesting that they're doing an episode like this so early on because Usually it's around when the new girl comes in. That's when they do like somewhat of an episode like this. Mm -hmm. The other class. <laughs> oh, you have pretty eyes.
Are you sure about that? Oh, that she's a pretty gear, and then she is a person for a gear, so no gear. <laughs> What makes you think that <laughs> to you? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right about that, Yeah. So big don't know. Cody. Come here. But then what if something happens? They need you and you need them. Huh. He's not seriously going to be in the girl's bathroom, is he? Mm -hmm. Already done. Mm -hmm. 
Come here. Hey, you go. See, that's what I kind of wish it would be here in Florida. It, it's kind of sunny today. What the heck? Don't tie yourself too much, please. Well, at least you, you know, say something about that. And then he acknowledges it was his fault. Madoka, you so I Here comes the beefcake. <laughs> talk about that real quick. That was hilarious. <laughs> there, like I said, there's always one guy who's just like, he wants to insinuate his muscle. <laughs> there are some women who are like that too, but it's more of the guys. Mm -hmm. 
You all right in there? Yeah. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> this kid, oh my god. Oh no, he's doing the inner Velma. Gotta find my glasses. I can't do anything without my glasses. But hold up. <laughs> Like one second. Out of the two to interview me. <laughs> the umbrella. The freaking umbrella like huh? <laughs> I can't. My stomach hurts. <laughs> If only you had your glasses. Seriously, that oh, hold up. Okay. I thought it would do at least something. Else. You know how, like, when we got the keys for Gold Princess Pretty Care, and especially when you get a new key and it would do something really, really gorgeous and pretty? That's what I thought that new one was going to do. Okay.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. I'm still talking anyway. Okay, so this episode was okay. I thought it was... There were a little parts where it seemed eh, but it was still good. I mean, if I could grade it right now, I would, it'd be like a three, honestly. It was good. Some things were meh, but it was okay. That's all. It's a good episode, though. Okay. The fact is that he wasn't really right about that scoop thing and everything, but it was interesting, though. I'm just still laughing about the fact is out of the two people he could have asked, he asked the freaking villain of the week. And that poor thing was like, <laughs> look at my um, don't know what to say. But the, I feel like because of the fact is he, we essentially just met this kid in this episode. There's going to be a point, maybe not now, but like towards the end of the series, kind of how with, um, Essentially, the last few episodes of Girl Princess Pretty Here, when everybody found out that the girls were pretty here and stuff, I feel like that's going to happen because it kind of did it do that for Kitty Kitty Patrol? Like, no, it didn't do that. But I mean, it made people recognize that they were pretty here. But I mean, there are times with this show where one minute people find out about the pretty here, and then the next minute it's like. One, no, let me change that. One minute they find out very, very early on, and then the next minute, like, it's towards the end of the series. Because, like, think about Go Princess and Kitty 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 Girl in mode. Hold on. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. How in the world? Because I would not jump anymore. Unless something, she hurt herself really, really bad, I get that, but who knows. Okay, so typically, looking, comparing to Girl Princess Pretty Care to Kitty Kitty Pretty Care Alamo to now this a little bit for when people kind of find out about the Pretty Care is either the halfway point way before the newest here comes in, so that could be like 15, 16, 15 to maybe 20. Then it could be the last few episodes of the series, because that's what happened with Girl Princess Pretty Care, because that's when everybody found out the girls were pretty here and essentially that. But with this, the fact is that we're, you know, seven episodes in and we are like someone now knows of pretty care but doesn't know who they are and like who they could possibly be but like hmm, it's some sailor moon ish and it's like hmm i wonder who sailor moon is well let's kind of ask the same girl who kind of looks like her or something like that but because of the fact is the pretty care when they transform from regular girls to pretty care they're completely different it's kind of how like um Oh God, I'm trying to think of what. Oh, okay. If you've seen the show or read the the show, no, no, no. If you've read the um the book that the show was based on, or if you've seen the show, you'll probably know. It's called Witch. It's really how old is it? Like this is like mid two thousands. You know, mid two thousands. Like yeah, because I used to read it a lot. It was like one of the best things that Disney had brought out. When they're transformed, they look a lot older. So essentially, when someone sees them, they're like, okay, well, yeah, you look like a character. Let's say Will, Irma, Tarani, um, 
Cornelia Halen, but if they were older and then essentially, you know, but no one ever truly found out that, you know, these young girls who were like 12 or 13 are actually these girls transform when they're like, they look like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, maybe even 20 year olds. Maybe, I don't know. Cause it, they never really went in detail on that and such, but if it ever got revamped, then I would like to see that, but no. Um, okay. Now going on to the intro. Comparing it to <laughs> Star Twinkle, maybe even Hug a Toe, maybe just anything. I, I was expecting the intro series for this to be um, something uh, something that would have wowed me. Because like when we looked at Star Twinkle or we looked at um, Hug a Toe or anything before this series, there were some intros that were like, good and then there are ones that were like eh. this one I mean it feels I don't want to say basic but it feels normal and such I do like the fact that it starts with a tree but then because of the fact is I mean when you think of a tree you're thinking of nature and healing and stuff like that essentially you know the the theme of this show but then there are some people who are a little iffy on it and how it's just like here I do like the fact that you know um, before the episode started, uh, Kira Grace asked the tree how it was and everything. That's interesting. That's something that didn't happen in last week's episode. So I kind of wish that maybe from episode eight to the end of the series, they mix that in. I think that's a little interesting thing. Like whatever the villain of the week is, it kind of gives you that little clue of like maybe something like if it was, you know, because of the fact is it was a tree today. I'm not going to guess. They're going to say, oh, hey. The villain of the week was all raw with raining, but it had something to do with, like, rain and like that. Something like that. Like, let's say next week it could be... Clothes. <laughs> like, you know, in a pretty character story. <laughs> just looking at clothes, or a story in general looking at clothes. Something like that. I mean, it, it just, to me, it seems like it needs a little still something to make it, you know, different. Because it is normal, and I think a lot of people will like that. I do like it, but there has to be something else that can maybe, like, possibly take it to the next level. And that could be when the final cure comes in. I mean, right now, we just, we don't know. I don't know. Y'all know. Some of y'all know because y'all been looking up spoilers and stuff. And especially when the toy came out. So, of course, because usually when the toy comes out, somebody does something. And next thing you know, it's like, hey, here's the thing for the next cure. But, of course, I'm going to be patient and wait if I can. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episode 7 of healing good pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the matchup squad and of course i will see you guys especially all next sunday for episode 8 bye guys